Well, it's a good morning to have a good morning. Welcome back to the channel. So today we are headed to New Hampshire, dropping off these cars we picked up in Hilton Head, South Carolina. Uh, sorry, we're getting fuel here at the Pilot in Jutland, uh, New Jersey, because I'm going up uh, to go to the Tappan Zee Bridge instead of go through the uh, George W. Uh, so we're getting fuel here and then we are going to keep continuing our way up there. We reload in Maine with two vehicles that head back down to Pennsylvania. So it works out pretty good. Um, oh, what I was saying was I fixed the hitch this weekend. Got the hitch fixed this weekend. I was surprised to see that I didn't think that the bolts they had in there were grade eight. So I took everything out and put all brand new grade eight bolts in there. Uh, they did have some corrosion on them, like normal corrosion, but they, uh, they didn't look to be of grade eight, so. Uh, the bolt heads on well, grade 8 bolts are certain markings on the head so you can tell what like if the color is distorted you can tell what uh what grade the bolt is but I'm gonna finish getting fuel here because it's the cheapest I've found it's 324 with my RTS card and that's about the cheapest I've been able to get in quite a while all right well that was an uneventful ride up here we are in Hampton New Hampshire Right on the water. These fine folks live up here during the summer. I picked up their cars down in that beautiful neighborhood in Hilton Head. I'm gonna meet them at their friend's house, which is about a block from their house because they have a uh, real like uh, quiet road. So I can pull in there, we're gonna unload both the cars and they're just gonna drive them down to their house. Um, so nice of them to think ahead for uh, somebody like me i mean heck she even asked how long my trailer was she did she asked how long my truck and trailer were so she could uh, make sure i could fit well there's the ocean it's a shame i don't have more time or i would pull over and enjoy the sights but i'm not in a time crunch but i i don't really have much time to spare this place is nice though. This would be my vibe for a summer. So my customer told me when you when you go out of our road, make sure you go up the coast to get back towards the highway. And I'll show you why. Because it is a beautiful out here. Like this is where I would this is where I would retire. Uh, let me get around this. I wish I didn't have uh, a trailer with me and I had some time to burn. But let me show you what we're driving at. Like there's the ocean right there. Ton of beach houses, some of which are massive and a little older. You can tell it's, you know, old money, maybe people from New York City at some point coming up here to vacation. But there's the ocean. That's what I love about doing snowbirds, man. Think of that house right there. That's what I love about doing snowboards. You get to just see some beautiful stuff, meet some awesome people. Works out well for everyone. I guarantee the transport industry is one of the only industries where the service provider itself is the one always getting screwed. Always something with these burgers. I'll explain here shortly. Oh, good morning. In the mega cab. Wait, what's that? What's missing? Oh, you want to see how my morning's going? That is how my morning's going. Had a guy try to pass me on a um, a back road. There was a detour for construction, and um, no center line or anything. No painted lines. Well, I was in, and it, there's mud all over my trailer on the passenger side because I was on the hill and uh he must have not been paying attention with smack and mirrors so it's kind of a who's really at fault type thing you know it sucks but thankfully it's just a mirror i can get a mirror for 100 bucks 200 bucks or something like that and uh it just sucks it's just always something it seems the worst part is i can't i can't see to merge today This is a neat shipping and receiving office. 
nice little view so this place makes like these concrete vaults for septic or sewer or electrical like i'm guessing wires come into those that's what this company that i'm picking this up for that's what they do all right good morning finally finally get to deliver this i think i've had it for two weeks um customer's tough to uh coordinate with but she's been a customer for a really long time so i actually originally got him off of u ships five six years ago and uh i've hauled many of these for him but we're just trying to coordinate when he can be home for me to drop it off and uh that's today so i am putting a new synthetic rope you guys saw that the last one broke and my buddy who borrowed the trailer or his his workers who borrowed the trailer um i told him about you know if something breaks just tell me and um they just completely forgot about it after it broke which is no big deal so he uh he just went ahead and amazon me one real quick so i'm gonna put that on here today because we're picking up an in-op um acura rdx it's nothing special but it pays really good because it's in-op going all the way from um virginia down to florida so that's my second car down to florida so we're booked both ways down and back um for another snowbird trip so we're all good there so i'm gonna get this rope put on and uh, we're gonna hit the road well nothing like pushing a car that has no motor in it and drifting it down the hill to your truck so you can get it in a place where you can actually winch it into your trailer Gotta love it. That'll work. Well, not what they said we were picking up. We were supposed to be getting an RDX. This is an RSX. This one has a new weight reduction feature to it. It's got no motor in it. Thankfully it has no motor in it because look how low this thing was. So get the winch out pull this thing up in it is headed all the way down to Orlando Florida and it's lighter than an RDX stuff full of parts long story behind that apparently it's old, oh that's why it's so heavy his old motor sitting here in the back so 